seven things you should always keep private if you want to keep moving forward in life you don't want anything that will set you back in life you don't want the evil people to plan your downfall please endeavor to keep these seven things private at all costs if you do this i assure you that you will keep progressing and none of your enemies we know anything about you. No more monitoring spirit in your life and no more people working against you. Remember that monitoring spirit works with what they hear. So if you can keep these seven things private, I assure you that you will keep moving forward in life. But before I proceed on this video, I want to tell you that you are most welcome to this channel and you are welcome in the name of the Most High God. As you stop to watch this video, I pray that Almighty God will bless you. He will favor you and make you to prosper in every good thing you do. This channel is for success, prayers, physical and spiritual well-being tips that will help you to achieve success. So if today is your first time to see this channel, join us by subscribing and make sure that you turn on the bell each time I upload a new content, you will get a notification to watch my new upload. Now, if you want to keep moving forward in life, you should do things that will help you to keep going and avoid things that may cause obstruction, oppositions to your good intentions. So, for those that want success, please, I want to give you this special advice. To refrain from disclosing what you want to achieve in life or to stop yourself from revealing these seven items or seven things to anyone be it your friend be it your wife be it in fact any of your family member don't share these items or things with them to help you keep progressing in life don't trust anyone hope you know if you want to trust anybody make sure that that person know god sorry because anyone who knows god have conscience and anyone who don't know god don't have conscience such person can reveal secrets such person can do anything without thinking about it so these things that i want to share if you endeavor to keep them private nothing will stop success in your life number one is your intention especially your good intention maybe you want to travel abroad you start planning for it don't tell anyone because you may tell somebody and that person may be against it or be jealous envy towards that intention and he or she will start working against that intention so it is better for you to keep your intention once you achieve it that is when people will know what you are planning years ago so it is better to keep your intention your good intention private don't share it with anyone and don't let anyone know what you are up to to help you achieve it and to stop anyone that may work evil against it so keep this private number two is your personal goal yes your personal goal is very important for you to keep private if you want to achieve something very important maybe next year next two years keep it private just like your intention don't disclose it to anyone because you may disclose it and that person you disclose it to may take it to evil people they start working evil against you to stop you to oppose you to make you not to achieve that your goal please don't disclose this to anyone your personal goal is your life your personal goal is your glory so don't share it with anyone at all costs keep it private number three is your charitable deed yes the things you do to help people don't video it and put it online as you do this you are telling people that you are progressing evil people may start working against you 
as you do your charitable deed, keep it private and don't let anyone know. Evil people are very jealous, envy, and they are very diabolic. They may do evil things to stop you so that you will not continue your charitable deed. Doing charitable deed in the case that you are progressing. So, evil people don't want you to progress. So, avoid disclosing your charitable deed to anyone. Keep it private. As you keep it private, God will reward you. God will keep pushing you and you will keep progressing in life. So make sure that you keep your charitable deed private at all costs. Number four is your family affairs. Yes, it could be your extended family, it could be your immediate family, it could be anything concerning you. Please keep it private. Don't share it with people around you, especially if that person is not from that family keep it private now if it is your own particular private family maybe you and your wife and your children both of you have problems misunderstanding don't share it anyhow don't share it with people because they may mock you they may use it against you they may spread the news to people and people will start laughing at you Keep your family affairs private. This is very important. If your wife made a mistake, keep it private. If your husband made a mistake, keep it private. If your children do the same, keep it private. It is better to keep this private than to share it to people you don't know them. You don't know their mind. The heart of man is full of evil. So please keep your family affairs private. If you want to keep progressing you want to avoid anyone mocking you or laughing at you keep your family affairs private as you do this you will keep progressing you are respecting yourself respecting your family and also respecting your dignity as a human being but if you disclose it you expose yourself your secrets you expose things in your family and people will use this against you in the future. So keep this private. It is very important. Number five is your wealth. What you have acquired in life. Your massive wealth. Your massive success. Keep it private because once you disclose this, most people are very jealous. They may use it against you. They may go and do evil things to stop you from progressing so that you will never keep getting wealth. You will never keep you will never keep getting money the way you do. So no matter the amount of wealth you get, learn to keep it private. Don't tell people what you have invested, where your properties are, where your money is, the amount you have, please. Keep this private. It is very important. For those that keep this private will always progress in life. But for those that always reveal what they have achieved, their personal life, their goal to people, may disclose it to people who can work evil against you to stop you from getting what you want. So keep your wealth whatever you have achieved in life, private. It is very important. Number six is your possessions. What you have, what you have acquired, where things you have are located or situated. Don't tell people where you keep your properties. People may go and destroy it to hurt you. People may plan evil to destroy your properties, to destabilize you, and to make you not to progress further. So endeavor to keep your possessions private. This is very important. Most people are intoxicated with enormous properties. They start sharing it, using it to show people that they are progressing, not knowing that they may be opportuned to disclose it 
to people who are evil. They start working evil against you. And in no distant time, they may be able to stop you. But God will not allow that to happen. But it is better for you to keep it private. Don't share it because people are evil. Most people are evil. Good people who have conscience are not much. People who know God are not much. Because anyone who knows God have conscience. Before that person will do anything evil, he or she will think it. So avoid sharing your positions to people. If you want to keep progressing in life, please keep your positions private. This is very important. Number seven and the last which you need to keep private is your spiritual experience. Yes, except you want to help someone who is in need of it, then disclose it to that person. But don't share it to people to avoid sharing it with everyone who will stop you from getting that experience further. Who will start planning evil from stopping you from getting that experience. So, spiritual experience is very important to keep private. But I will advise you to always give it to people that miss it. And once you give, please pray so that evil people will not work against you. They will not use it against you. So, spiritual experience is a gift from God. If you have it, learn to keep it private and learn to use it when the need arises. Don't share it with false people, negative people, because they may not value it. They will not take it. They will not take it. And even if they know it, they will use it against you. Use it to mock you or show jealousy, envy towards you because of your spiritual experience. So these are the seven things you should always keep private and never share it with anyone at all costs to keep progressing in life. And this is what I want to share in this video. And I hope you that you enjoy this video. Please, if you do, join this channel by subscribing and make sure that you turn on the bell when next I upload a good content. You will get notification of my new upload. If you have questions and comments, do not hesitate to drop it in the comment section. In fact, comment on this video. Let me know what you think. Like and share this video to all your friends and families. I wish you the best. See you in my next video. Bye.